Burns, a new study tonight saying there are too many students in Midway ISD. A new study says the district could soon need more schools to fit them all. That's right, and the demographic study says something's going to have to be done in the next decade. Fox 44's Maribel Santiago spoke to a parent tonight who sees firsthand just the overcrowding population. Well, Robert Leslie, in the next 10 years, this district could see a 2 to 3% increase in students each year. And now the district is turning to parents with ideas to see how to take care of all this growth. It's grown a lot. Christy Miller grew up in Midway ISD, and so are her kids. She says a lot has changed since then. My class was around probably 350, and now I think this, this year, our graduating class is around 600, so it's seen a lot of growth. Back in the spring, the district hired a demographer to look over student enrollment, expecting more kids faster than they can keep up. It's somewhat been accelerated uh, than it had been in the past. It had been a much more moderate growth level, and, that, and through the years, of course, we've been able to adapt and grow and, and, and uh, provide facilities for the kids. Superintendent Dr. George Kazanis says he's seen most of the increase in schools within Waco city limits. Now staff is tasked with sorting out their options, including rezoning and adding portables or a new wing. If it's a new ninth grade center, if it's new elementary schools, they're just at a ground, you know, ground zero right now planning and looking at options. District leaders say no decisions have been made yet as they're getting the community input before taking future action. There's new houses everywhere and um, you just see them pop up overnight. So and this is the district to be in. Now, right now, the district is in the early stages of all this planning, and they're hoping to start dialogue with parents by the end of this year. And at 930, we'll tell you how the staff is looking to get those parents involved. Live in Midway, Maribel Santiago, Fox 44 News.